Hello, Bart Brooks, and welcome to my channel. Tonight is a star party at Oasis State Park, New Mexico, just north of Portales, and hosted by the Clovis New Mexico Astronomy Club. Right now we're uh, setting up telescopes. We have so far are three in process. These two here are both the uh, president and the vice president of telescope, and more of our guests. He's also setting up his own. And as we uh, progress in time, uh, well, more and more people will show up, and I'll even have, have them uh, describe their telescopes. So far, it's a very uh, sunny night, very cool, no, no wind, and we'll be viewing uh, star clusters, uh, nebulas, maybe some uh, galaxies. The moon and the planets will not be out, so we will not be viewing them, of course. So. Don't let us see, see what's going on. Keep on watching. Okay, this is Gary, our vice president. This is his uh, automatic scope, like a five inch mirror. And it sets automatically on the uh, object you're uh, viewing. So, this is a uh, cholesterol evolution all task mount. And um, attached to this mount is the five inch. Uh, Maxita 27. Mm -hmm. um, it's a uh, it's similar to the Schmidt Cosgrain, except this has a little bit longer focal length than its uh, Schmidt Cosgrain uh, counterpart. So even though uh, this is a much smaller size than the other scopes here tonight, um, it can definitely reach out. And you'll be able to see everything that these bigger scopes can. Mm -hmm. Dobsonian telescope. Yeah, it's it's a simple design. Okay, yeah, the manual scope. It's very easy to use. Scooping around. Okay. Can you see the mirror in there? Yeah, you can. That mirror collects the light. There's another little mirror right here in this little circle. And it's, it's angled like this, so the light hits it and bounces out into this eyepiece right here. Okay. And it concentrates and focus there. So. Okay. So, because this is Roy, our uh, club president. This is one of our guests who bought his own scope. With a, it's a very large one, about 12 inches. Okay, and, uh, with an equatorial mount, that is a mount that rotates the sink with the Earth's rotation to keep the ob to keep it uh, uh, tracking the object in view. This is a fully uh, automatic scope. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's a phone app controlled. Yeah. The image is, is displayed on a laptop computer screen. Yeah. That's all the way. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So we have four scopes on hand in case another guest shows up and brings their own telescope. That might happen later on. A very clear skies with the exception of a uh, thunderstorm about 50 miles east of here. Came in, you can see the lightning from it. Looking at the west, the sunset is getting very dark and you can just barely see the moon. It's a very thin crescent. Zoom in so you can get in the There it is, right in the picture. A very small, thin crescent. We're going to look at some images from these. Uh, Two telescopes with uh, cameras and laptop computers connected. Here on this screen, we have a uh, looks like a slideshow. See a galaxy in the upper uh, right corner. It's probably the uh, looks like the and Andromeda galaxy. We're looking a couple of nebulas. Okay. This laptop is displaying the image from the, uh, this telescope. That looks like a uh, star cluster. <laughs> On this uh, smart telescope, which is an app control, you can see what we're really here. What is, it? It? what is this? Uh, the Dumbbell Nebula? Dumbbell Nebula. Okay. Zoom in a little bit. It looks like a big satellite. Okay. That's where the astronauts live. 
Well, back from the star party, so so much seen and big crew out turnout. So, hope you enjoyed watching that. And next uh, Saturday, uh, July 13th, will be our uh, viewing the moon at the uh, library here in Clovis. So, I mean, I'll be there doing a video there. So, look forward for that. And thanks for watching.